Welcome back to the Photo Story 3 for Windows demonstration number three. We're getting ready to wrap up our digital story here that we created. Next up here, uh, we can select some background music to play throughout the entire um, presentation or through a, a short section. We can add more than one song or, or tune to the background if we want to. First thing we can do, uh, it's pretty interesting, we can actually create music on the program. Let's click on the create music button uh, to create some background music here. Okay. First thing we can select the genre. As you can see we've got uh, quite a bit to, to choose from. Let's try the world. World beat. Uh, we'll check out some reggae. Okay, so we can select a guitar, legendary, and we can play and see what that sounds like. Sounds like the uh, the theme to uh, Cops, kind of. We'll see what else we got here. How about some adventurous? You can just play around some different stuff. You can slow the tempo down. There we go. Low intensity. So you can see you have a variety of options to choose from here. And once we uh, decide that's what we want, we'll go ahead and create our music. I don't think I want to choose any of those, so I'm going to go ahead and select uh, some music that has been pre-recorded pre on my computer. Okay, I've recently gone to this folder, so this is uh, one of the songs I'm going to choose. This song here, Utishenya, by the uh, Be Good Tanyas, I think will fit the theme nicely. So I can double click on that and it will open up for me. Something to note, the music will be included wherever in the timeline that you have the clip selected. So I had the first clip selected, and so it put the song at the beginning of the timeline. If I would have had another one selected, it would have attached it to that clip. Um, you can go and delete the music by right-clicking. Okay, right-click on, uh, on the clip there. Go down to Music select, create, or delete. You can also go into all your other options, um, customizing motion, editing, deleting, all, all this kind of stuff here. So I'm going to select my volume all the way up. So let's uh, let's check out the preview here and see see how the story's coming along. So I've gone through and I've done some transitions and uh, some different things that we can take a look at. Okay, one second. Let's start this over here. Okay, so here's the title page that we made last time, and I'll go ahead and play it with the music, and we'll check it out. Okay, and we'll make you watch the whole thing. I'll post the finished photo story on YouTube also, so you can check it out. One thing that um, we didn't we didn't go over last time that I'd like to to go over before we finish up is uh, transitions. So we did customizing motion with the Ken Burns effects, and I'd like to show you some transitions as well. And some pretty neat pretty neat tools here. Um, so you can see the transition here. We're doing the crossfade. 
let's go to the next picture. So you can see the transition here. We can you just click on the different transition and it will show you a preview there in the middle screen. So you can see you have a you have a couple different options. There's quite a few here. Uh, some that I think are pretty cool. Uh, the page curling back is kind of a cool feature. Let's see what else. Another one that I am going to use is uh, let's see. The other transition that I'm going to use is going to be the slide right. So there's some different transitions. Uh, you can obviously set the the length of time you want to delay the transition out. You can make it go for a while if you want to. Looks like three seconds is the maximum amount of time there. I'm just going to set that transition automatically. So maybe we'll move it back down to one there. And you can do that for all the uh, the pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and say no, I don't want to select that. So we can once again do the preview here. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Let's go to the end here. So this is the music. And we'll go to actually creating the photo story. Gives you a couple different options depending on your purpose. Um, save your story for playback, for uh, you know iPods or smartphones or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and just play back on the computer. And I'll put it in my videos folder here. Any other settings that we may need can all be done here. Uh, a lot of different options. I'm going to go ahead and do the highest quality since we are going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, it's going to get compressed again. So I want to keep as much quality as possible on this end of things. So I'll go ahead and uh, click Next. And it's building the story. So after this gets done loading, then we'll go into YouTube. Okay, once you have the file saved, you simply open it up when you get to YouTube and upload it to the website there. I won't go through all the details on that. This uh, demo is going longer than I anticipated. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you learned something about Photo Story 3, and look forward to seeing your photo stories up on the Internet.